Hello everybody and welcome back to McKegg's Movie Mayhem in association with WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. I'm Eli McKegg and today I am going to be doing the movie review for Jurassic World Dominion. See? Not so bad. To start off, Jurassic World Dominion is the final entry in the Jurassic Park franchise and I have to say as the final entry of the franchise I am very disappointed in the film. To start off, Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard return from the original two Jurassic World movies and they continue playing the same characters that they have been and when I say that I don't mean it as a I don't remember their character's name I remember I say it as a they're playing the same characters they're not there doesn't seem to be any real growth in the characters from the first one to the second one to now. It is very unfortunate that Colin Trevorrow, who is returning after directing the first Jurassic World movie, that he doesn't seem to want to continue their growth. And there wasn't really much in the entire Jurassic World franchise for those two characters. However, we do have some saving grace in Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum returning in the roles of Dr. Alan Grant, Dr. Ellie Sattler, and Dr. Ian Malcolm respectfully, or respectively. And I have to say, in Jurassic World Dominion, those three chemistry and how they play off against each other, they are the best part in the movie. And that is honestly a great thing, but also a sad thing, because since this is the conclusion of the franchise, you really hope that this would be the movie that is able to wrap up very well and have a grand, amazing conclusion, but instead it's just blah. If you're going to watch it for the dinosaurs, don't worry, you're going to have a lot of dinosaur action in it, but when it comes to the human story, the plot line isn't really there. In fact, there are two major subplots where Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard's character go to try to get their clone daughter who was first introduced in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, whereas you have Dr. Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, and Ian Malcolm's character trying to stop the corruption that is in the antagonistic corporation that is in the film. Overall, those two subplots really don't work well together. The, again, the main thing that you're going to be going away from is the chemistry between the original three leads is still amazing and they're the reason why you really want to watch the movie. In fact, they try so hard to wrap up the all six of these films that they bring back a character who was in the very first movie but only appeared in one scene and tried to wrap it up as a, oh, he's been the big bad of this entire thing. Ultimately, this movie does not work for me, and I'm not mad that this movie isn't the ending that I want. No, I'm not mad at all. I'm just disappointed. I feel like a mom whenever they get mad at their kid. Look, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. That's how I feel about Jurassic World Dominion. Overall, I give this movie a 4 out of 10, a 2 out of 5 stars. It was very disappointing, and I really wish that this movie would have been able to resolve all the negativity that the entire Jurassic World trilogy has created over the past few years. Anyway, next week, I'm going to be going headfirst into Pixar as I review the movie Lightyear. And until next time, I've been Eli McKaig with WBBJ7 Eyewitness News, and I hope you all remember to watch movies.